Mom, I can't go to school today because I feel sick. <coughs> we all know this excuse. Kids all over the world use this excuse to not go to school. Whether they are sick or tired, kids just don't want to go. This makes parents all over the world angry and just really annoyed. Parents, you have it rough. You are responsible if your kid goes to school and if they don't, the school blames you. Today, I will be informing you of ways schools can change to motivate students and to help them academically. First, we'll, we will be taking a look at what scientists say is the right time school should start. Then we will be taking a look at what we could do to lower our stress level. And finally, what can teachers do to make class exciting? So why don't kids want to go to school? According to a 2015 study by Yale's Center of Emotional Intelligence and the Born This Way Foundation, 22,000 high school students were given a brief survey that asks them how are they currently feeling in school. 39% of the students said that they felt tired. 39%. That is a big number. And once you think about it, it's scary. So now that we know how scary this situation really is, what can we do to fix it? Well, according to the smithsonian.com, school should not start earlier than 10 a.m. And they're not the only ones, because according to educationnext.org, school should not start earlier than 9. Why, you may ask? Well, scientists have found out that if the school hour is moved by 1, there, the student's percentile points will increase 2 percentile points in math and 1 percentile point in reading. One example of this is Wakefield School System. They start school at 8, one hour later from its previous hour, and their standardized test scores are unbelievable. It rose from 1.4 percentile points in math to 1.8. This is huge. If students get a better score, they will be motivated to do better. And not only that, but they will be more refreshed in the mornings while coming to school. The Yells and the Born This Way survey did not only give us that big number, but it gave us another one. I could stand here today and tell you that school gives too much homework, but I won't. The reason behind this is because I believe schools do not give enough homework. Why, you may ask. Well, school is supposed to get you ready for college. And if you have a two-hour college course, expect four to six hours doing homework. The Born This Way Foundation and Yale's survey found out that from the 22,000 students, 29% of them said that they felt stressed out. There is absolutely nothing the school can do to change this. If a parent goes to the school and demands the school to give less homework, you're basically telling the school 
to not do its job. So if the school can't lower our stress level, what can we as students do? Well, according to verywell.com, some techniques that we could use to lower our stress level are sleeping more, which takes me back to my first main point about coming to school later, as well as breathing techniques and just exercising more. The Born This Way Foundation and Yale's survey told us that students were being stressed out. But what can teachers do to make class more exciting? Well, I'll be honest with you. Some students are lazy. Some of them don't even want to be there. But most of us do. Some of us want to be somebody in the future that we could be proud of. But even the most academically involved student, such as myself, we get bored. The Born This Way Foundation and Yale's survey found out that from the 22,000 students, 26% are being bored during class. How can we change this? Well, it's, it's very simple. Teachers, instead of having study hall, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a student. Instead of grading papers by yourself, grade their homeworks with them so that they know how to do better. And make your classroom more welcome friendly. If you use these tips, I assure you, your students will not get bored and they will learn more. So just to recap, students are tired because to, school starts too early for them to totally process everything. And students are feeling stressed out because they can't totally process and time manage their time correctly. And finally, students are bored because their teachers don't get involved with a lesson plan. School is hard, not only for the student, but for the teachers and the parents. We're all tired. We're all stressed out. And some of us are truly bored. But we need to stop overthinking this. Let's start school when biology says we are ready. Let's hold accountable students for their lack of time management. And for God's sakes, teachers, mix it up a little bit. Teach us. Involve us. Engage us. Thank you.